your update. Uh, it was a great 2017. Uh, not so good for our Tigers at the end of the year because we lost to uh, Alabama. They kicked our butt, but uh, that's okay. We'll be back next year. This year, I guess, was supposed to be our rebuilding year. And so, congratulate to all the Georgia Bulldogs. And it'd be kind of neat if Georgia wins the national championship. Go back in the 1980. Georgia wins the national championship in 1980. We win it in 81. And then what if we win it in 2016, and then they turn around and win it for the 2017 season. So that'd be kind of cool. So a little odd, but uh, pretty neat. Let's go to our numbers as we always do. Um, lots available uh, right now. There are 387 lots. Uh, as you know, if you keep up with our updates, there have been over 400 all year. I certainly expect as we go into spring, more people will be listing lots. That number will get up above 400 again. Right now there are 24 lots under contract. In 2017, 186 waterfront lots sold. Compare that to 2016, it uh, was 162. So that's 24 more lots have sold uh, this past year than did the year before. So that's a good thing. Uh, average sales price in 2017 was 258869 Average sales price in 2016 was 249146 So the... Uh, Lot prices actually went up for the first time, 3.8% uh, this past year, 2017 over 2016. And that's the first time since way back in the late 2000, uh, right around 2007, 2008 probably. Um, a couple of key things on the lot sales for the year. Uh, 22 of the sales this past year we sold, Matt or myself, and if you break that down, that's 11.8%. So one, a little bit over one out of every 10 lots that sold, we were involved in it. The next closest person or team or company, you know, that all together only had 11. So we more than doubled uh, as the selling agent for the lot sales in 2017. As far as our listings, we had 25 of our waterfront listings sell this past year. Uh, again, out of the 186, that's 13.4%. So we are certainly a dominant force when it comes to the lots. The next closest listing company, if you take all of the Cliffs resales uh, on the MLS this past year, they sold 14. So that was the next closest one behind us at 25. So that's, that's a major statement. Um, let's go to the houses. Right now there are only 104 waterfront homes. That is a small number. Up until this uh, past year there was usually around 200 available at the beginning of each year and as many as 230 or 40 at some times. That number is interesting because if you take out the, the golf course communities there are only 53 waterfront homes available on Lake Kiwi right now. Just 53. That's an amazing number. So there are 51 available in the golf communities. Uh, right now there are also 24 under contract. In 2017, 215 houses sold. Think about that. 215 and we only have 104 available. So more than twice the number of houses sold. So, you know, if you look at it this way, we only have about a six month inventory of existing waterfront homes on the lake. So we should see house values go up again after this year. In fact, if you go to 2016, 180 waterfront homes sold. The average sales price was 676,553. This year, the average sales price was 743,287. That's a 9% increase. Uh, very dramatic because, again, since 2013, I look back, only 129 houses sold. The average sales price was 699. 2014, the average sales price dropped to 693. 2015, it dropped to 686. 2016, it dropped to 676. So for basically five straight years, the average sales price has dropped down. In fact, I got to go back to 2008, um, if, if 2009, excuse me. In 2009, the average sales price was 667. So that's just barely below where it was in 2016. So between 2009 and 2016, the average sales price, you know, stayed in those 600 areas. 
But if you go back to 2008, the average sales price was 846,000. In 2007, it was 800,000. In 2006, which was the highest it's ever been on Lake Kiwi, was 861,835 back in 2006. So we obviously haven't got to that number, but I think we're heading there and we're gonna get there soon. I think there'll be a big impact uh, in that average sales price will go up considerably by the time this year is over is my thought. So if you're out there looking, now it's time to get your property on the market uh, because again, we're after the New Year's. I've gotten two phone calls today. Uh, I've got appointments already set up in January. Both of them are looking for uh, houses in that, you know, six to, to one of them six to 750 range, the other one up to 900,000. So buyers are gonna be coming out and they're taking advantage of the market right now. So that's, uh, all I've got on the numbers, here we are at beautiful Lake Joe Cassie. As you can see, what a gorgeous time of the year. I only see one boat out there on the lake. And if I look at the parking lot here, we only have two trailers. So <laughs> that's probably one of two boats on the lake today. Uh, not many people are gonna be out here because it's just flat cold. I know it's snowing in Charleston today. We got a text from a friend of ours, three to five inches already hit the ground in Charleston. And if you know there's snow in Charleston, you know it's cold up here. Uh, but look how awesome this lake is and how beautiful, clear, clean, and uh, even a day like today, a great time to come out and enjoy it. Even if you're just across the water over there throwing rocks and making them skip as that gentleman's doing across the way. He's over there slinging them and doing the old skip a rock. Well, we look forward to a great 2018 and look forward to seeing you next month. And by that time, we'll know who wins the national championship in football. And then we can look forward to Go Tiger basketball. Yeah, that's basketball, 12 and 1 at this point. Let's go Tigers in the basketball. We'll see you next month.